So, for example, uh, if, and it's not really an if, it's a win, but uh, if Lee and I are looking at selling the Business Radio X network, how far out should we begin that planning, begin to build a relationship with a business uh, broker? Does, does it vary or is there some kind of rule of thumb about when you need to start getting your ducks in a row on that? Okay. First of all, I can tell you're a sharp business, Kai, because you you ask the question knowing sooner or later you're going to sell your business, right? Yeah. It's it's not as if you intend on selling it today. You enjoy doing that, right? But you know, sooner or later, somebody else will be operating your business. I mean, it's just, you know, we're not going to live forever, right? right. And, so, <laughs> and so that's wise of you to know that. So what, what I like to tell people is, if you start thinking about 36 months out, talking to some people, putting your team together, you any problem that you would have had with the organization, you will have time to correct where a buyer may not even know that those things existed. Now, I say that because there are these things you want to do. You want to get your books in order, right? There's some, you know, you want to get some systems in place. You know, we can go through all that stuff. Kind of like painting the, you know, the the dining room, you know, and cleaning up the bathroom before you sell your home, right? And so um, you want to do those things. But, but the reality is there are some voids in your business, some mistakes you've made, some marketing <laughs> that was good that you don't do anymore. You know what I mean? Or if you had more money, things you would do. All of those things, we can detail them out. And a buyer really wants to look at those because I tell people all the time, I'm going to value your business based on what you've done today, but the buyer is going to buy it based on tomorrow. And so mm -hmm. if we're not only cleaning things up and it takes about 36 months to do that well, right? Um, we're also detailing the things we've done, should have done, could have done. So it's a package in my world. We put together a confidential memorandum and we have something which we call broker's opinion. And that's where we drop in what we think the future could look like or some things they could do better to improve the business. So as you're cleaning things up for those 36 months before you want to sell, you're also detailing some things you may not want to do, but that another buyer may choose to do. 